What's going on, everybody? My name is Tech, and for the last 15 years, I was the number one seller of pre-owned men's clothing on eBay. But today, we are in Mount Dora, Florida. It's 40-something degrees. There's, like, mountains up here by my house. It's only flat. So, like, these are Florida mountains. This is, like, as close as it gets. So they have an indoor section, and then they have another section in the back. We're going to try to make some money. We're going to make it happen. You have tuned into the right spot. Every single video I show you, we make a bunch of money. I teach you a bunch of stuff. Like I said, I was the number one seller of pre-owned men's clothing on eBay for 15 years. And if you would like to learn how to sell on eBay, come over, learn from the best. I was not a big fish in a small pond. I was the biggest fish in one of the most competitive, one of the most saturated categories and totally dominated for 15 years. So if you would like to learn, I know pretty much everything about eBay. I have immersed myself into eBay. I sleep, eat, everything eBay. Come over to the group. We have 30 live calls. Real experts in every single niche with years and years of experience, not just, they didn't just start last week. I hope everyone's having a good 2024. You've come to the right spot. We are going to crush it today. We're going to find a lot of cool stuff. We're going to do it. And as always, let's go. So it is Friday out here out in Mount Dora. I don't have high, high hopes, but we're going to hit it and make a couple dollars. But I do have something for you. Stay tuned to the end. I'm going to take you through a day in the life of, you know, the next 24, 48 hours. We are going to go to Webster on Monday, which is the biggest flea market in Florida. That's going to be the next video. But for the next 24, 48 hours, I'm sure we'll do some cool stuff. I'm going to go visit one of my friends. Stay all the way to the end. He's actually doing a giveaway for a $100 item. I'm gonna show it here. Even if it's not your size, you could just resell it on eBay and get a quick hundred bucks. So stay tuned towards the end for that one and shout out to them for doing that. Very nice, very gracious of them. We do appreciate it. This guy still around? Hey, you said twenty. Yes. Thank you. How much for this shirt? That was ten. Ten. All right. So thirty. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. All right, leaving Mount Dora. We did okay. Tomorrow we're going to Webster, which is the biggest flea market in Florida. Got this very nice vintage Tommy Hilfiger to shooting shirt with the right keywords. This is easily 50 bucks. We got a nice pair of Carhartt. Double knee. Again, good keyword. Lined on the inside. These will go very well. And as you guys know, I always put comps. Very nice Lee. Vintage Lee. Jacket in black. Black is much rarer for these. And then we just got some hats. You know how we do. Just a couple hats. More hats. I'm over here at the hotel looking at the vending machine. And to my surprise, two blow pops for 50 cents. This might be your best hedge against inflation. In elementary school, blow pops were 25 cents each. And that was 35 years ago. Put your money in blow pops. Get your money back out in 35 years you'll not lose a single penny. A lot of people, they ask me, what are you gonna do after eBay? What are you gonna do after reselling? So let's go for a little bit of a drive and I'll show you. 15 years ago, I started eBay with $35 to my name, a lot of desperation and a big dream. And 15 years later, I built the number one pre-owned men's clothing business on eBay, selling millions of dollars per year. With a lot of hard work, a lot of good fortune, Luckily, we are blessed. We have put ourselves into different positions with different opportunities. So let's take a little bit of a ride and let's check out a new opportunity, maybe. So we're about four or five hours away from my house, about an hour west of Orlando, about an hour northeast of Tampa. We're looking at this shopping center here. It's 27,000 square feet, has 11 tenants. It's triple net and they want $5.9 million. So I'll take you through the numbers. Let me know if you are interested in this type of content. If not, I'll skip it. We'll just stick to the flea market stuff. So like I said, they do have 11 tenants. It has Anytime Fitness, which I'm not 100% familiar with. I did a little bit of homework. They are a 24-hour access gym. 
And what I like to look for in this type of stuff is storefronts that are not replaceable by Amazon. And I think every single one in here ticks all the boxes. So we got this gym. You can't order that on Amazon. We have a Hong Kong Chinese restaurant. Always have done well with those. Little Caesars, Daryl's Diner, which is a dog-friendly diner. He's got a couple of them, at least two or three. Um, dog-friendly diner, which that is interesting. Um, Verizon Wireless, which is good. Cloud 352 Vape. Cato Fashions, which is a women's fashion store. Dollar Tree, which are always good. T-Mobile, a corporate store. And then Bushnell Nail and Spa. So you can't get your nails done on Amazon. T-Mobile is good. Verizon is good in the same plaza. Um, they do have one vacant space, which is very good to look for when you're looking at deals like this. And the vacant space is 1,360 square feet. It's less than 5% of the building. And they say that um, you can get about $22,248 a year out of that space. It comes out to $207 per square foot almost 28,000 square feet. It sits on 2.84 acres. And this is a triple net building. So the tenants and everyone is responsible for everything that happens to the building, everything that happens to the common area. And you do charge CAM, which is common area maintenance. And if you ever plan on looking at some sort of commercial warehouse or a commercial space, you definitely want to make sure if they're charging CAM and what exactly the historical I guess charges for a cam are that way you don't get hit with any sort of stuff that um you didn't have factored into your budget so for here the common area maintenance always includes the utilities parking water sewer janitorial repairs maintenance landscape security computer internet expenses pest service and waste services and that comes out to 123,000 a year which is all split between all of these tenants so that doesn't come out of um, the owner's pocket. If you ever want to buy something like this, you know, the first step, of course, identify. You can go on places like LoopNet, you can go on Crexy, and you can put everything that you want to look for office, warehouse, flex space, things like that. I have a good amount of flex space, a good amount of small warehouse. Not so much retail, but I'm kind of leaning in that direction. It's a little bit tricky. Like I said, I do like to identify spaces that have stuff that are not replaceable by Amazon. And really the only one in here is this Cato fashion, but it is however anchored by a big time Walmart in this place that gets our 1.8 million visitors per year. There's also a McDonald's out front, a Burger King out front, and also a Starbucks out front. So this place is popping for this town right here. Um, but like I said, you wanna identify some of these properties on LoopNet, Crexy, things like that. Contact the broker, get the OM. The OM is the offering memorandum and on there, it goes through all the numbers if the numbers work. And while I do not negotiate at the flea market, I absolutely negotiate on commercial real estate deals. So the asking price of 5.9, that's just a starting point. Um, I'm gonna come in here and negotiate if I want to negotiate, if I like what I see, kind of get that price down. Every single term is negotiable on real estate. So whatever they ask, disregard. I do think that there will be some opportunities coming up here 2024, 2025. Um, that's why we have to be legit businesses. We have to get our paperwork right. We have to deal with the bank, have a good relationship with the bank, and we have to take care of business, make sure we're on the up and up. So a lot of people, they ask me, why don't you go to the flea market by your house? And I already know I can win the flea market at my house. That's why I drive five, six, seven, eight hours away to random flea markets in the boonies. And I am literally... I'm at a rodeo right now and hitting the flea market tomorrow. I definitely, uh, I definitely want to show a couple pieces that we picked up from watching and let's your go. stuff. So let's yeah, do it. cool. Let's do All it. Right, then. So hold on. Here we are. 
curated heat. We are in St. Petersburg around the Tampa area. And what I was going to do, I was going to trick people and go like, oh, look at all this cool stuff we're finding. Never mind, we're at curated heat. Yeah. But no, <laughs> this guy has all awesome stuff. Um, very cool store. He comes over to my neck of the woods every now and then, picks up some cool yeah. stuff. But maybe we could teach you guys something. So you said you wanted to pick something up or show us a couple things? Yeah, definitely. First Talk piece, to us. The first piece that we had to grab because of the bolo video. And if you haven't watched that, I'm sure you have actually on this channel from the bolo videos that me and my girlfriend watched at least two times, you know, had to listen, had to listen to the instructions. <laughs> we made it a point when we went to the flea market to try to grab a couple of pieces that would be a little bit out of our realm. Okay. But that we decided to grab, not only put in store, but put on eBay as well. Okay. So a piece I know that you'll like okay. is this one right here. I saw that one. Very nice. It is a polo with the horses. Yep. Uh, I believe it's a ladies blazer. Okay. So we grabbed this for $5. Obviously, it was a no-brainer for $5. I'll take that risk every time. Yeah. Comps are up to like $50, $60. Absolutely. Selling pretty frequently. I'd yeah. say every 20, 15 days, one yeah. is selling. So yeah, those so great. We do normally grab polo, but to be like a women's blazer in the area that we're in, uh -huh. it's a harder sale already has four watchers on our youtube right now so got a shout out oh, to him for the help appreciate that um i have a couple pieces in the back we could actually wander back there okay you guys are seeing the 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 back of the uh and you guys just moved into this one right this so no so one? so this is the same place we just did a full renovation gotcha yep so this is another piece uh that we grabbed Okay. Which we normally wouldn't because of where we're at. It's super heavy. It's a Cabela's, mm -hmm. almost like Carhartt style. Sure. This one's actually already sold. How much? On eBay. 65 bucks. <clears throat> yep, 65 bucks. Got it for five bucks. Beautiful. But yeah, those are just a couple of the pieces we grabbed. Um, <laughs> another one. Okay. Which we probably would have grabbed this anyway, just to be fair. But in the spirit of things, got to go, you know, with, with the bolos. This piece right here. So found this out of flea market. The dude wanted 15. It had a couple stains on it. Obviously, Nike, we're going to grab. But this is like a Nike um, Italian, Italian with And then this tag, we've actually not seen much yeah, before. Yeah, it has a cool tag on it. The yeah. Nike Premier tag. Yeah. So we were like, would Tech grab this? Definitely. So we had to go <laughs> ahead and we had to go ahead and grab it. So. I had to be prepared, you know? I knew no. he was going to stop by. I had to make sure I had a couple bolos on deck. It's got the flag on the sleeve. The flag, get some good patch wear on it for yeah, sure. So. That's very awesome. We've known you now for what, almost four years, three and a half years? Sure, yeah. Like that. Yeah, and we've been listening to the best, man. So listen to what he has to say. I promise you, you know, all of this was definitely not built in the day, but it was definitely built with help from a lot of good friends, a lot of good people. This man is a great guy. He has helped us with information involving what to buy, when to buy it, how to sell it, everything, man. So I appreciate, appreciate that. I appreciate it. No, we appreciate you coming by. Finally, uh, we're always on your home turf, yeah. so now you're on ours. So yeah, yeah take a look around. Um, if you have any questions, let us know, and we'll get you guys some good information. I know that these videos are, you know, aimed to kind of help people and and give good information. So. Yep. Any questions you got for me that we could, you know, answer to help other people, we'd love to do that. So so we try to keep a little bit of everything for everyone. And then we got, you know, obviously pieces like this, which are going to be a little on the, the higher end. I think we have 180 on this one. This is going to be the uh, Atlanta Olympics, I believe, mm -hmm. the 96 Olympics, Grateful Dead. So we try to keep a little of everything. When we, uh, when we first opened, it was all about, you know, grails and and five hundred dollar shirts yeah. and wrap tees, but as more people are getting into it, you know they're coming from the mall era. They're coming from you know Hot Topic, TJ Maxx. So sometimes those prices will scare people a little bit. So we try to have a good variety for everyone. And I'd say our best sellers are probably anywhere from twenty to thirty dollar t shirts, and that's kind of like our bread and butter. And your prices are good, man. We try to keep our prices as competitive as possible. Something else that we learned from Master Tech is a uh, turnaround. Don't hold on to your stuff, man. You know, don't take pennies for it. 
but keep things moving, keep things rotating, you know, and I, I saw in a couple of your other videos where you were kind of um, telling people, you know, if you get offers on stuff and it's reasonable and it's within your margins, take it. Why not? Let it go. You go know, out, buy more stuff. Especially, you know, we don't have to deal with fees. We don't have to deal with shipping in stores. Good always. So the people that liquid blue tag. The made in, the made in USA liquid blue. Yeah, that's a good one. Which at first... This this was a weird one because this is a double stitch shirt. So when you're coming across something like this, you got to kind of be weary of it because people obviously they're going to start faking stuff like that. In 96, they did do uh, double stitch shirts and we've seen uh, especially Grateful Dead's in like with double stitching on the Made in USA tag. So this one's a good one, but you got to keep an eye out uh, when you're buying, selling, trading, all that stuff. So Tell them about that tag. Oh, this tag right here, the infamous 3D emblem. So this is going to be one of the more rare Harley. Or they went through this company and they licensed the graphics to make the Harley one. So like you said, right. there are- it's always Fort Worth too. Yeah, always Fort Worth, yep, Texas. That's Fort where they were based out of. But they do have other 3D emblem graphics for different brands, but Harley used to use a lot of those back in the day. And if you can find the one with the big pig on it- Oh yeah, that's maybe big. Maybe you retire big after is, that one. Big pig is big money. You have a lot of famous people that come here. Yes, football we do. players, baseball players. Tifu comes Streamers, here. Streamers, yeah. yeah. Shout out Tifu. He just uh, came out of retirement last week. So, See anything familiar over here? A couple of things, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. If you need more shoes, I I was doing thirty three percent off on Black I saw, Friday. Yeah, I saw. So if you need more shoes, let me know. Yeah, and I probably, could just have Eric take a picture, mm -hmm. and then we'll just ship them out. Perfect. Yeah. yeah or we'll probably, you know, honestly, we'll probably just come see you. All right. Probably around a um, little bit after the new year. Mm -hmm. We'll just come see you and just refill up. Okay. The three of us who own the place, we went to high school together. We we're childhood friends. So when there's issues that come up, it's very, it's easy to solve them, especially when you can kind of give that extra um, push, you know, that motivational <laughs> push that you wouldn't normally be able to do with someone you work with. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, we're very lucky. Very lucky to know this guy right here. Like I said, Jeez. we've been we've been shopping with him for three years plus now. His anniversaries were the absolute best. I'm looking forward to the next one. So In we'll August, see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll have a little line wrapped around the building. Yeah, definitely, and we'll be in it. So the the crazy part is is that every year on Square you get like a printout. Yeah, and you might come a couple times throughout the year. Mm -hmm. You were always like the first, second, or third best customer who spent the most money. Yeah. <laughs> of one person, you were always like the first person. And you yep. only come a handful of times. So when yep. this guy comes, he, he ain't playing games. We, we definitely try to grab what we can. And on the anniversaries, there's so much good stuff. We have to bring, we bring a whole car full of people. We sardine in a car because we need that many people to, uh, <laughs> to go our separate ways and make sure we get the deal. So yeah, yeah man, we're, we're very thankful for everything this guy's done for us and, and the help that he's, you know, been able to help us with not only, you know, letting us buy from him for our shop, but the information he's been able to give us that's led us to, you know, better business in general, which I'm sure if you're watching this, I'm sure you guys know, and I'm sure he's helped you as well. So here, here's a fact. I believe you are the only person to sleep at my house. Okay, I wanted to bring that up, but I wasn't sure. Yeah, so yeah, you were the only yep. person to sleep at my house. Yeah, because you wanted to be the first one at the store for the yep. sale. <laughs> yeah, we we're, we're so we're four and a half hours away. Um, four hours on a good day. Yeah, and I remember telling him, I was like, "Dude, we're gonna wake up at like two o'clock in the morning. We're gonna jet down there. We're gonna you know live off coffee and you know little Starbucks sandwiches and whatever we can." And he's like, "You know what, like." I've known you guys for a handful of years. You guys are good dudes. I know where your store's at. Why don't you come stay in one of uh, one of my spare rooms? And yeah, we slept on the floor. It was literally, it was like being in uh, eighth grade again. You know, yeah. me and the boys were all yeah. talking game plan yeah. the night before. A little rowdy upstairs. The kids were a little rowdy <laughs> yeah, upstairs, yeah. but we, we went to couple, bed at a decent time. We had a couple time. knocks on the door. Hey, come on. You guys got it. Lights, lights out, lights out. Yeah, but. That's what I'm saying, man. Great, he's a great guy. I'll never forget that. That was that was one that of was our fun, yeah. that was one of our favorite favorite times, and allowed us to kind of get a head start on that line. So yeah, and and people was hating hating from outside, but I was hey. like, hey, these dudes drove four or five hours to get here, stayed overnight. They're the first ones in the line, and plus, 
either first, second, or third biggest spending customer of the whole year, every year, you yeah. guys can have the front I'm of the glad, line. I'm glad to share that title. We share that title with some some good stores and some good yeah, dudes too. So absolutely. And uh, hopefully we can keep that title going through uh, 2029 is when we just signed. We just really? signed. We'll be here till 2029. So what, that's six years. Six years. Yeah. Wow. Had to had to get it, especially when they uh, they just um, released the information on the new Rays Stadium and stuff. Okay. So we were like, look, is we, that going to be closer to here or is it the same so place? So it's going to be right across the street from where it is okay. now. So nice. it'll be like two blocks closer maybe. Nice. But they're building a huge megaplex. Um, I think 24,000 feet of like shopping, wow. food, uh, like beverage, stuff yeah. like that. Well, so There's cranes in the sky. So oh, this place is building oh, I know. up. Excellent, man. Well, I appreciate it. No, thank you. Man. As always, thank you. that was great. We didn't rehearse anything. I didn't even know what we were going to talk about. But this guy is obviously a natural. Great stories. Good job. We've been on YouTube for a minute. We're getting back on it too. So he definitely uh, lit a fire under us to get back on our, our vlogs and our daily trips. So cool. yeah, man, I love what you're doing too, man. So. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. It was great seeing you. Thank you guys. Awesome man. store. If you're ever in Tampa, St. Pete area, Curated definitely got to check out Curated Heat. Thank you. Shout out Curated Heat again. He's giving away that $100 item. Drop a comment on this video and drop a comment on his Instagram underneath this post. The post is going to be live for one week. He's going to do a drawing next Monday live on Instagram. And whoever wins, he's going to send it out. If it's not your size, sell it for the quick 100. So drop him a follow, drop him a post. And I appreciate everybody for checking out the video. We had a great time, had a lots of fun. Tomorrow, we are going to Webster, which is the biggest flea market in Florida. We're going to go there. We're going to dominate. I'm already saying it here. I'm proclaiming it now, speaking it to existence. We are going to go. We are going to dominate. So I appreciate everybody for hanging in with us. If you do want to learn about reselling, I have a great group of individuals, 30 live calls per week, no drama community. I answer every single question myself. We are making money. The advice is actionable. We have everything that you could need. Feel free to check it out. If you need more information, send me a message, send me an email. I respond to everything. So Thank you again. I appreciate everybody. And as always, be great.